This is the white digestive plate. We'll start with number three. This is the hard palate. We'll come back here. Four is the soft palate. And 4A is the uvula. Um, and then number six is the esophagus. Number seven is the stomach. This whole piece, J-shaped pouch. Um, 7A, or just, you know, the A here is the um, cardiac orifice, or you can say cardiac area or region of the stomach. B here is the fundus of the stomach, this um, superior curvature. C is the lesser curvature. D is the greater curvature. And E is the pylorus, the lower, lower section of the stomach. Number eight is the duodenum or duodenum. That's the first part of the small intestine. And then nine here is the pancreas. Okay, um, number 10 is the spleen. Okay, spleen here. Number 11 is the gallbladder. And number 12, all of this is the liver. 12A, this is the right liver lobe. 12B, this is the um, left liver lobe. And then right here, 12C is the quadrate liver lobe. And then we pick up here with D, which is the cystic duct. And E, um, these are the hepatic ducts. Got several of those, hepatic ducts. And then F is the portal vein. We called it earlier the hepatic portal vein. And then G is the hepatic artery. Okay, all of that's part of 12. And then for 13, we're gonna go down here to the small intestine. Okay, all of this, small intestine, 13. The upper two-fifths of the small intestine are this pink, darker pink. Um, and we call that the jejunum. The lower three-fifths is the light pink, and we call that the ileum. And you can see that the ileum is attached to the large intestine, which makes it the lower three-fifths. Um, 14 is Bond's valve, or we can call it the ileocecal junction, okay, where the small intestine joins the large intestine. A is the ascending colon. Um, then, oh, we've moved into 15. 15 is the large intestine, all of this. 15A is the ascending colon, and 15B is the transverse colon. 15C is the descending colon. Um, and then D over here is the blind gut. And then we have E is the vermiform appendix. And then 16 here is the rectum.